Hi class, good day! So for today's video, we are going to talk about simplifying rational algebraic expression. But before that, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, kindly click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. So from our previous lesson, we learned about rational algebra expression at kung ano yung mga examples ng rational algebra expression. So for today, we're going to simplify rational algebra expression. But before anything else, if you don't know yet how to simplify fractions or how to factor numbers, we have other videos for that. Just click the link below so that it will be easy for you to simplify rational algebra expression. Alright? So first example we have here, x raised to the fifth power over x cubed. So, sa pag-simplify natin class ng rational algebra expression, unang yung gagawin is to factor those given polynomials both in numerator and denominator. So, again, factor the expressions that are not yet factored in numerator or denominator. And if ever it is in the simplest form already, so no need to factor it out. Alright? So, si x raised to the fifth power, that is x times x times x times x times x over, if we're going to expand x cubed, that is x times x times x. So, all you have to do is to cancel out. Kapag nag-cancel out kayo ng factor niya sa numerator, dapat ganun din yung i-cancel out niya sa denominator. So, we have here x sa numerator. We have another x and another x sa baba, then we have another x and another x sa baba. So, natitala na lang is the lawang x, and that is x squared. Alright? So, the simplest form of x raised to the fifth power over x cubed is x squared. Okay, another example we have x plus 5 squared, or quantity of x plus 5 squared, all over x squared plus 7x plus 10. So, i-factor muna natin yung numerator. So, we have here perfect square. So, yung factor niya is x plus 5 times x plus 5. So, paano natin malaman na tama yung factor natin? So, class, if you're going to multiply this group dito, dito sa pangalawang group natin, so yung product niya will be this one. Alright? So, factor ng x squared plus 7x plus 10 is x plus 5 and x plus 2. So, paano natin yung kinuha? If we're going to factor numbers just or polynomials like this one, so kapag i-multiply natin x times x, that is x squared, and then x times 2, that is 2x, then we have another x here, 5 times x, that is 5x. And if we're going to add 5x plus 2x, so we have 7x. Then 5 times 2, that is Alright, so after that, i-cancel out lang natin kung ano yung meron na factor sa taas kung meron din siya sa baba. Or kung ano yung present na factor sa numerator at present sa denominator. So we have here x plus 5 sa numerator, cancel out natin, and x plus 5 sa denominator. So yung natira na lang is x plus 5 over x plus 2. So therefore, this is our final answer. Okay? Again, para mag-simplify ng rational algebra expressions, all you have to do is to factor the expressions in numerator and in denominator, then cancel out nyo yung same factor in both numerator and denominator. Alright? Let's answer some of the given sa mga learning task ng, ng module ninyo. Okay? So, learning task 1, we have m squared minus 9 all over m plus 3. So, factor muna natin yung m squared minus 9. So, this is a perfect square. So, factor niya is m minus 3 and m plus 3. If we're going to multiply m times m, that is m squared, then negative 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9. Okay? So, kung i-add naman natin yung negative 3 plus negative 3, that is 0. So, kung kaya napansin nyo, wala tayong um, second term here. Or wala tayong m lang dito. Okay? 
for our denominator, we have m plus 3. And this is already in simplest form, or wala na tayo may factor m plus 3, kaya m plus 3 pa rin yung denominator natin, alright? Then, next yung gagawin is i-cancel out nyo yung factor na present sa numerator at present kay denominator. So, for here, we have m plus 3 sa numerator, cancel out natin, at m plus 3 sa denominator. So, cancel out lang din natin siya, kaya ang natitira is m minus 3. So, this is the final answer. Yung m squared minus 9 all over m plus 3, yung simplest form niya is m minus 3. Alright? So, if ever sabihin nyo, ma'am, kasi bakit yung kanina nag-multiply tayo x plus x or ginawa natin expanded form? Pwede rin naman if we want na mas mahaba yung sagot niyo. So, we have here m squared minus 9 all over m plus 3. So, kung, gawin, kung gusto nyo mas mahaba yung sagot niyo, ayan, ilang beses yung m we multiply, so we have m times m, dalawang beses, and factor ni 9 is 3 times 3, all over m plus 3. So, next thing gagawin is cancel out nyo yung present, ka numerator at present ka denominator. So, we have m here, cancel out yung m here, we have 3 here, cancel out din natin si 3 dito. Kaya natira is m minus 3. So, the same pa rin yung answer natin. Alright? So, another example naman, x squared plus 3x minus 4 all over x squared plus 4x minus 5. So, factor out natin itong nasa numerator. So, yung factor niya is x minus 1 times x plus 4. So, to make it sure na tama yung factor natin, so, multiply nyo lang yung dalawang group na ito and this will be our product. Alright? So, kapag i-add natin itong dalawang constant dito, Yung sagot niya dapat is yung nasa gitna. Okay, pag i-multiply natin siya, yung sagot niya itong nasa last part. Alright? So, for a denominator, yung factor ng x squared plus 4x minus 5, x minus 1, at x plus 5. Alright? I forgot to put another close parenthesis here. Okay, so if we're going to multiply these two groups, ito yung magiging product na niya, alright? And if we're going to add negative 1 kay positive 5, yung sagot niya or yung sum niya, itong nasa gitna natin, alright? And if we're going to multiply, ito namang last term natin yung magiging sagot niya. Next yung gagawin is i-cancel out lang natin kung ano yung present sa taas at present kay denominator. So, we have x minus 1 here, and we have x minus 1 here. So, therefore, our final answer is x plus 4 all over x plus 5. Okay? Next, learning task 2 ninyo. So, we have a b squared all over a b. So, i-factor natin. So, we have a, isa lang naman yung a natin dito, and dalawang b, so b times b, and sa denominator, we have a times b. So, cancel out lang natin yung present sa denominator. We have b here and another b sa denominator. We have a here and a sa denominator. So, yung naiwan na lang is si b. So, this is our final answer. Alright? Another example we have 4x squared minus 8x plus 12 all over x minus 3. So, so yung factor na ating numerator that is 4 times quantity na x squared minus 2x plus 3. May 3 yan. Alright. So, if we're going to multiply 4 dito sa loob na ating parenthesis, so this will be our product. Okay? So, copy lang natin si x minus 3. So, we don't need to factor x minus 3 dahil naka-simplest form na siya. The next step is i-cancel out natin kung ano yung present kay numerator at present kay denominator. Pero kung napansin nyo, wala tayong 4 dito sa denominator or wala tayong magkaparihas na numbers or variables dito sa denominator at sa numerator. So, therefore, we don't need to cancel it out. So, this will be our final answer. Okay? So, last one, we have x squared plus 3x minus 4 all over x cubed minus 1. Okay, so factor ng x squared plus 3x, that is x minus 1, 
times this times x plus 4, right? So, factor naman ni x cubed minus 3, that is x minus 1, times x squared plus x plus 1. So, if we're going to multiply this one, ito yung magiging product natin. Okay? So, next step is, i-cancel out natin yung present ka numerator na parehas din na present ka denominator. So, we can cancel out x minus 1 and x minus 1 here. So, therefore, our final answer is x plus 4 all over x squared plus x plus 1. Again, to simplify rational algebra expression, all you have to do is to factor the expression first that are not yet factored. Then cancel out factor in both numerator and denominator. Alright? So, that's all for today, class. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Thank you!